Hey, what is going on everybody? Brian and Shauna coming back to you. Just wanted to do a quick impromptu video to let you know what's happening. Uh, almost month one. Yeah, we're just, pretty, pretty darn close yeah, to month one. Just, uh, just about month one and uh, just kind of wanted to talk about some of the ups and downs that uh, have happened to us in the last week. Mm -hmm. uh, I think most of you know that we spent uh, the last couple of weeks in Rocky Point, Mexico. Had a really good time there, so those were the ups. Yes. And, uh, you know, we knew kind of going into this new lifestyle that there were going to be some challenges. And, yeah, boy, did we have a few uh, this past week. Yeah, right out of the gate for us, <laughs> which maybe that's a good thing. We're going to get it out of the way early, hopefully. Yeah. So um, as we came back from or left Rocky Point, um, we discovered that there was something wrong with one of our slides, one of the largest slides on our rig. And luckily for us, you know, things happen along the road and we were very blessed to be heading from Rocky Point back to a family member's house to pick up some stuff that we had left behind as, and, and before we headed off to our next site. And lucky, lucky for us, we got here and discovered that we had about three different things. Trouble came in three for us, but we had three different things wrong with our rig that kind of brought us to a screeching halt for now. Well, the first one was uh, the slide. Uh, one of the rams broke on the, uh, on the main slide, the, the biggest slide on the rig. And those of you who have those um, types of slides that have the rams, the, the hydraulic ram, or electric rams in this case, you know, the, the plastic Acme nut is what broke loose on ours, so we got to take that in the shop and get it fixed. Uh, but we're, like Shauna said, we were able to brace that uh, there in Rocky Point and make it all the way home, no problem. Right. Uh, on the trip home, not too far into the U.S., a guy in a pickup truck towing a trailer, flatbed trailer with some construction debris on it, yeah, blew around us and kicked a nice big rock up into our brand new windshield. Put a nice, um, nice crack in it. Yeah. So uh, at some point, I'm sure that's going to need to be replaced. And it has to be right in front of Brian's view yeah. on the driver's side. Right, right at eye level, right on my side. <laughs> Wonderful. Of course. Yeah. And then um, <laughs> shortly before that, I noticed the check engine light had come on. I don't know how long it was on, pr uh, you know, prior to me noticing it a while, I think. But at any rate, uh, again, made it back uh, across the border and uh, stopped at an auto zone and those of you who know auto zone know that they uh, usually will come out and read your codes for you so the, the guy did that That's nice yeah and um, convenient yeah let me know that i've got an o2 sensor that's probably going bad or something associated with the o2 sensor uh, it is code p2195 so anyone who has had that on their triton v10 <laughs> for triton v10 p2195 uh, you know, That's be strong. happy. Yeah, leave some uh, comments uh, or, you know, whatever you might have found, you know, below and let me know if um, you had any specific issues with troubleshooting that particular code. So those are the three things. Uh, hopefully we're going to get that slide fixed. Uh, it's the holiday weekend. It's the holiday, holiday weekend, yeah. weekend, right, which really compounded things for us from being yeah. able to get it fixed and getting back on the road quickly. You know, so I think maybe perhaps the silver lining is the repair shop we're going to take it back to is the same shop that did all the flooring in our rig. Yeah. And I know they had to adjust all the slides. And I'm hoping that they look at that and say, yeah, it's, it, it may have failed due to something being misaligned. And you know, I'm gonna press them to cover that under warranty uh, because that's uh, almost a thousand dollar fix probably uh, close to it. I know it was about eight or $900 for the other side that went out, oh, a couple of months ago. So, you know, one of those things. Yeah, and you found a little bit of a workaround to kind of speed this process up, yeah. which I think is going to be a really yeah. good topic for us to cover in an upcoming video right. on how to deal with this type of a setback. Right. It's, it's, it really is all about attitude, how you deal with it, and thinking um, ahead and thinking on your feet and, and how we can kind of overcome this. So I think there will be some good pointers that we can share yeah, it's, with it's, others. Yeah, it's about also about using all your available resources. Yes. And I've talked before. Yes. You know, I can get, I can get pretty worked up. <laughs> I, you know, I'm not the most patient guy sometimes. Uh, but being a pilot, one of the things we learn and we're, we're trained to do is look at all of our available resources and whatever those might be to help us out of the situation we're in. So that's kind of what Sean has been uh, talking about just there. Yeah. And looking at what we might be able to do to help ourselves 
know, speed this process along. So. Right, right. So we are getting caught up on a few things right now, um, which I guess it's a blessing as well to have a little bit of downtime. It's just, it's yeah. hard when we're right out of the gate, excited, ready to go, yeah. and we have the speed bump occur and we have to put on the brakes and, and take a step backwards and get things fixed. And then the other thing that we had going on this week, we actually had an interview with a um, TV show yeah. that was that is featuring the RV lifestyle. And because our rig broke the day that it did, we had to cancel, which is yeah. really disappointing. Yeah. But um, they asked us to let us know when the rig is fixed and they will hopefully like to do it with us when we're on the road. So uh, keeping those fingers crossed. Yeah, that's uh, that, that would be a national audience, which would be awesome. Yes. yes. And uh, it would go a long way to to kind of help the larger yeah. uh, community who's not involved with RVers and and sort of the movement uh, understand what it's all about mm -hmm. a little bit better and you know you got to kind of be careful what you wish for because um, there are a lot of us out there now and things are getting a little tougher to get into RV parks and find right. places and stuff like that so <laughs> we may not want to toot that horn too loud. <laughs> <laughs> we'll make it work. Yeah. Yeah. So I think that's probably it. Just to yeah. give you an update of where we are, um, why you haven't seen anything from us. We were posting pretty regularly our pictures from uh, Rocky Point and the, the great time we were having and yeah. relaxing and settling in and then kind of went quiet. So we just wanted to put something out to let you know how things are going. We're fine. Things are going to work out just fine. It's just kind of a waiting game right now to see how long it's going to take to get the rig fixed and we'll be back on the road, which is really exciting. Yeah, this is true. So in the meantime, uh, if you're new to the channel, uh, consider subscribing yeah. take a look at what else we have out there we do uh, quite a bit of uh, DIY stuff mm, and just he's a great mechanic a lot of great advice yeah you know I, I, I do okay I guess yeah no you do you do better <laughs> you know okay. some do it better some do it worse but yeah. uh, you know it takes all kinds right and uh, like I said check out some of our other videos on some of our travel stuff mm -hmm. and uh, again if you like the video Give us a big thumbs up. Hit that notification bell so you'll be notified whenever our next video comes out. Right. Right. So I think the only thing left to do is what? See ya. To say see ya. Yeah. See you see ya. soon, hopefully. Bye-bye.